Here's an intriguing story that's flying completely under the radar. An ex-Google AI researcher just announced they've built the world's first AGI-capable system, and the response has been deafening silence. We're talking about a claim that should be making headlines everywhere, and yet it's got fewer interactions than your average cat video. Something doesn't add up here, and we need to investigate what's really going on. The person making this bold claim is Jad Tafari, CEO and co-founder of Integral AI. This isn't some random person on the internet, this is someone who actually worked on Google's early generative AI teams before leaving to pursue his own vision of artificial general intelligence. He's been vocal about efficient world modeling systems and even sparked controversy by suggesting traditional PhDs might become obsolete in the AI era. But his latest announcement is by far his most ambitious yet. When he posted about unveiling the world's first AGI-capable model, you'd expect the AI community to absolutely explode with discussion. Instead, at the time people noticed this, his tweet had just over 500 views and a handful of likes. For context, that's less engagement than most people get sharing their lunch. For a claim this massive from someone with his credentials, that's extremely unusual. Either nobody's paying attention, or people aren't taking it seriously. Let's dig into why. According to their announcement, Integral AI has created a breakthrough enabling agents to autonomously learn new skills safely, efficiently, and reliably. They're calling it a foundation model for embodied superintelligence. Now, before we dismiss this entirely or get overly excited, they've actually done something interesting. They've provided a rigorous definition of what they mean by AGI. Which is refreshing because that term gets thrown around constantly without any real precision. Their definition has three core requirements. First, autonomous skill learning. The system must independently teach itself new skills in completely novel domains. Without relying on existing datasets or human intervention. That's crucial because most current AI systems are essentially sophisticated pattern matchers. Trained on massive amounts of human-generated data, true AGI would need to learn like humans do, figuring things out from scratch. Second, safe and reliable mastery. The system must learn without causing catastrophic failures or dangerous side effects. Their example is perfect. Imagine a kitchen robot learning to cook. It can't be starting fires during its training process. This addresses one of the biggest concerns with autonomous AI systems, that they might cause unintended harm while learning. Third, energy efficiency. The total cost of learning must be comparable to or less than a human mastering the same skill. This is actually a huge deal. Human brains are absurdly energy efficient compared to current AI systems. We're talking orders of magnitude difference. If you can't match human energy efficiency, you haven't really achieved human-level general intelligence in any practical sense. These are actually solid criteria. The problem isn't with their definition, it's with whether they've actually achieved it. Let's look at what they're presenting as evidence. Their approach is based on what they call universal simulators, which are designed to create explicit hierarchical abstractions. Similar to how the human neocortex works. The idea is to move away from the black box nature of current AI systems. That just map inputs to outputs without real understanding. Instead, they're trying to build systems that develop structured representations of the world. That can generalize to new situations. They demonstrated this with several examples. One showed an AI agent exploring a 3D environment, building a mental map, and answering questions about what it discovered. Another demonstration focused on efficient visual processing, similar to how human eyes use rapid movements to sample important information and reconstruct a complete picture. They also showed the system solving Sokoban puzzles, learning to plan efficiently rather than trying random moves. On the surface, these demos look impressive, but here's where things get problematic. When you actually compare this to existing work, it starts looking a lot less groundbreaking. DeepMind published similar research back in 2017 with their imagination augmented agents. That work was peer-reviewed, 
published at a major conference and included publicly available code and methodology. Their agents solved 85% of Sokoban levels compared to 60% for standard approaches, and critically, other researchers could verify and build on that work. What's missing from Integral AI's announcement is any of that verification infrastructure. There's no peer review. There's no published code. There's no detailed methodology that other researchers can examine and replicate. They're claiming their model mastered Sokoban from a completely blank state, learning rules and professional strategy just by interacting with the simulation. That would be impressive if true, but we have no way to independently verify it. This is where legitimate skepticism comes in. In the AI research community, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. When you claim to have achieved AGI, people expect to see rigorous testing against established benchmarks, access to the system through an API so others can evaluate it, or at minimum, detailed technical documentation that explains exactly how it works. Instead, we're getting self-defined success metrics. They've essentially created their own test, declared themselves the winner, and provided no way for anyone else to validate the results. It's like organizing a race where you set all the rules and then announce you've won without letting anyone else compete. The production quality of the demos also raises questions. For a company claiming to have solved one of humanity's greatest technical challenges, the presentations feel surprisingly low budget. Major AI breakthroughs typically come with substantial funding, polished demonstrations, and significant media attention. This has none of that. Now, to be fair, in an interview, their team does articulate an interesting vision for the architectural changes needed for true AGI. They talk about moving from prediction-only models to systems that explicitly abstract and predict. Implementing interactive learning that goes beyond current imitation and reinforcement learning approaches. And developing proper alignment techniques for safety. These ideas aren't necessarily wrong. Many researchers are exploring similar directions. The fundamental issue is the gap between ambitious claims and verifiable evidence. Science advances through transparency and reproducibility. When someone announces a major breakthrough, the community needs to be able to examine it, test it, and potentially disprove it. That's how we separate genuine progress from hype. The AI community has learned to be cautious about revolutionary announcements that lack substance. Time will tell whether this is a genuine breakthrough that just needs better presentation, or another case of overpromising in an industry that desperately needs more rigor and less sensationalism.